Hello, hello, hello. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's resume our five minute review playlist. Today, we'll talk about a disease that can lead to cyanosis in neonates. The word cyan means blue, by the way. The disease is called meconium aspiration syndrome, where the baby literally aspires and inhales his own poop. So in case you're having a bad day, just remember, some people have it worse. This is my playlist and today's video number six, please watch them in order. Meconium aspiration syndrome, where's the problem? Is it the problem in the upper airways or is it the problem in the lungs? It's a problem in the lungs. When you have a neonate with respiratory distress, your differential diagnosis include Gisillian diseases. Today we're talking about respiratory causes of a baby who can't breathe. You can have airway disease such as coenal atresia, Pierre Robin sequence, vocal cord paralysis, laryngotracheomalacia, also known as croup. Or the problem could be in the lungs, such as respiratory distress syndrome, transient tachypnea of the newborn, meconium aspiration syndrome, and persistent pulmonary hypertension of the newborn. We have talked about RDS before, as well as TTN. Today it's time for meconium aspiration syndrome. Just remember your lung diseases, RDS, TTN, MAS, PPHN. Pause and review. So meconium aspiration, what's going on? There is some poop in the amniotic fluid. What's the amniotic fluid? The amniotic fluid is the fluid in the mother's womb where the baby is literally floating. When the baby is near term, around 38, 39, 40th week of gestation, especially in times of distress, the baby will start pooping, pooping all over the place. And now the amniotic fluid is stained with poop. This gets worse the later you go in pregnancy. So if this is 41st week, 42nd week, 43rd week of gestation, you'll have more poop, which means more risk of aspiring the poop. What's aspiration? Aspiration is not swallowing. Swallowing is when something goes to your esophagus, but aspiration is when something goes to your trachea and then your lungs, your respiratory tract, that is. This could be mild or could be severe, severe to the point of causing atelectasis, which means lung collapse, as well as respiratory failure. You can get hypoxemia and cyanosis. Meconium aspiration syndrome, what's the definition? Aspiration of meconium into the lungs, of whom? Could be the fetus before delivery or a neonate immediately after delivery. What the flip is meconium? First poop of the baby. What are the contents of the poop? This lecture is so smelly. It may, it's made of water, some amniotic fluid, mucopolysaccharide, so carbohydrates, bile salts, and then stuff is falling. Disquamated epithelium from your gut. Disquamated epidermis from your skin and some vernix. What makes meconium pass? Fetal stress, especially near term, full term, or post term, which is more severe. The older the fetus, the more the meconium, and the greater the risk of aspiration. This meconium will stain the amniotic fluid, usually green. It could be thin, light green, or it could be thick, dark green. This probably means more poop. Meconium aspiration can take place in utero for a fetus or at time of birth in a neonate. Symptoms include respiratory distress, so tachypnea, grunting, nasal flaring, intercostal retractions. Put a stethoscope onto the baby's chest. What do you hear? Crackles. If there is too much poop, you can get mechanical obstruction. All of the surrounding fluid will get resorbed until your lung collapses on itself. Atelectasis, I love this word. Ectasia means what? Dilation. Tele means what? Distant. A means what? No. There is no dilation of the distant airway. When there is no dilation, uh, it's called collapse. This poop has chemical substances in it. That's why you can get chemical pneumonitis, inflammation of lungs because of chemicals. Tachypnea, increased breathing effort, cyanosis, hypoxia, respiratory distress. If it's severe, you can get atelectasis, chemical pneumonitis, pneumothorax, respiratory failure with hypoxemia. So if you do oxygen saturation, it will be low. Radiologically, on chest x-ray, there is increased lung volume. Yeah, because now the lung has air, fluid, and poop. Patchy atelectasis and parenchymal infiltrations alternating with hyperinflation. 
Whether the baby has neonatal respiratory distress syndrome or meconium aspiration syndrome, either one can lead to anoxia. Oxygen? No, no oxygen. This can lead to respiratory distress. It can also lead to coma. Meconium aspiration syndrome, the aspiration of meconium into the lungs. There is meconium stained amniotic fluid, usually green. Risk factors include post-term placental insufficiency, non-reassuring fetal heart rate tracing, oligohydramnios. The symptoms start immediately after birth and they include respiratory distress, maybe cyanosis. It's diagnosed clinically and radiologically. Management, endotracheal suctioning, supportive care, supplemental oxygen, inhaled nitric oxide because it dilates smooth muscles. It's going to dilate your airway, making you breathe better. When everything hits the fan, mechanical ventilation or ECMO. Complications of meconium aspiration syndrome. Persistent pulmonary hypertension of the newborn. We'll talk about this in a later video. Respiratory failure, pneumothorax, chemical pneumonitis, etc. If you have watched my cardiac pharmacology course at medicosisperfectionist.com, you know that we have six medications that dilate smooth muscles in blood vessels, such as hydralazine, nitroprusside nitrates, sildenafil, tadanafil, vordanafil. How do the first three work? They are prodrugs of nitric oxide. And how does nitric oxide work? It activates guanylate cyclase, which converts GTP into cyclic GMP. This activates protein kinase G, which activates a phosphatase. Phosphatase will remove the phosphate from the myosin light chain, which is active, meaning contracting, and then it will become myosin light chain without phosphate, which is inactive and relaxed. Relaxation of smooth muscles. You have smooth muscles in your blood vessel, vasodilation. Smooth muscles in erectile tissue, erection. Smooth muscles in your trachea and airway, bronchodilation. That's why you give inhaled nitric oxide for babies with meconium aspiration syndrome or any respiratory distress. You can also get my antibiotics course on my website medicosisperfectionalis.com. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfect Snailus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Peace.